All right, guys, here's a cat video. So we're starting the abdomen, so obviously the outermost layer of muscle, this one here, and if you actually look at the direction of the fibers, they go this way. It's gonna be your external obliques. If you peel that out of the way and look underneath, you can see that there's a muscle right here. The fibers go this direction. This is going to be your internal obliques. You can actually see the little stripes going towards my thumb. Internal obliques are here. If you look, there's actually a border. So when it changes color, that means that's the end of one muscle, the beginning of the next. This little triangle, which if you can get the connective tissue off, good for you. We always have a hard time with it. This deepest layer of abdominal muscle is going to be your transverse abdominus. So if I stick a pin here, it's transverse abdominus. And then up and down the center, which they got the connective tissue off of one side, but not the other. Running down the center is going to be your rectus abdominis right here. So these are your six-pack ab muscles down the center. So just one more time. Rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis, internal obliques are here. And then the flap on the outside is going to be the external obliques that cover everything. Moving into the chest. In the chest, we got a couple of muscles. So we got the one that goes straight across right here. It connects basically your pectoral region all the way over to your antibrachial region, your arm. It's going to be your pecto antibrachialis. Next door to that, you have a smaller muscle right here. This is going to be your pectoralis, believe it or not, major. So your pectoralis major is here. And the smaller muscle that, well, which usually in humans is smaller, but it's larger in cats. This large chunk of muscle here is going to be your pectoralis minor. So the pectoralis minor is the furthest one towards the abdomen. It's the largest, largest one. Pectoralis major is next door to that. Pecto antibrachialis is next to that. In the neck, so we got a kitty. I broke the jugular vein. Oops, my bad. There's a couple of muscles you need to know. So you need to know this muscle here that connects the sternum to the mastoid process of the skull, be your sternomastoid here, and then underneath it, there's muscles that go straight up and down. You can see it right here. It goes from your clavicle to your mastoid. That's going to be your sterno, or sorry, your clidomastoid right here. So sternomastoid is here. Underneath it, running straight up and down, is clidomastoid. Flip kitty over. On the back, so if we look at the whole back, there's a big strip of muscle that goes this way and it also goes on this side. These are going to be your uh, latissimus dorsi muscles. Above here, which we've actually cut on one side, so we'll just put it back. There's a border. Um, cat doesn't have a great border, but it's roughly right about here. This chunk of muscle that's under here is one half of your trapezius muscles. So you have trapezius muscle here and you have the same thing on this side. Um, again, there's not really a clear line, but that's okay. So it's this huge chunk of muscle that goes this way. It also goes up into the neck here. So this is all going to be trapezius. You can kind of see the line right there, the trapezius line. If we cut the trapezius and get it out of the way. Deep to that, this is your scapula. You pull it apart from the spine, you can see this chunk of muscle here. This is going to be your rhomboids. You don't need to know major and minor in kitty, just know the rhomboids. So just remember rhomboids. You put the muscle back on, this triangle shaped muscle is going to be your trapezius muscle, and then the lower back is going to be the latissimus dorsi muscle. The only other thing you need to be able to find is if you go into the armpit. Look here, so we've, we've basically gotten the latissimus dorsi out of the way. This chunk of muscle looks sort of like a fan. It's going to be your serratus ventralis. Um, in people, it's called the serratus anterior. It's basically the same exact thing. So that's the last one. Good luck. All right, so we're going to do uh, the muscles on the two different models. We have really mini man here, and then we're going to do it also on um, the bigger guys in the corners. So just to start off, just so you guys understand, this is superficial side. If you split the body in half, basically, this is going to be the muscles you see that are just underneath the skin. So you take the skin off, this is what you're going to see. Once you start taking actual muscles off, like if I take this big triangle-shaped muscle off, this is what I see underneath. So these are the deep muscles. These are superficial muscles, just so you guys get it. You're probably wondering why you can see ribs here and you can't see them here. Well, that's why. All right, so the muscles, what are they? So this muscle that starts way up here, wraps down, goes all the way down, and it's like a big, huge triangle. You can see like the big triangle, triangle, triangle. It's trapezius, okay? So trapezius is this guy. The bigger one now that's on the lower part of the back that wraps all the way around and down is gonna be your latissimus dorsi. So this huge one here is latissimus dorsi. Trapezius is here. If you rip the trapezius off and look underneath, this is what you're gonna see. And you're gonna see there's a muscle right here, this smaller one. There's a little border right here, a crack, and then there's gonna be a muscle right here. This bigger one is gonna be your rhomboid major. So this will be the rhomboidius major. The smaller one's gonna be the rhomboidius minor. And last but not least, again, still underneath the trapezius on this side, you have the muscle that runs straight along the spine. This is gonna be your erector spinae. When this muscle contracts, it keeps your spine erect, so that should make sense. So erector spinae is here. All right, so now we're gonna do the, uh, the neck and the chest. So the neck and the chest, if you think about it, this muscle right here is connecting our this bone is the sternum, you guys should know that. Connecting our sternum up here to the back behind our ear, that's the mastoid process. So this is gonna be the sternomastoid muscle. So it's called the sternocleidomastoid because it connects to the clavicle too. So it's the sternocleidomastoid, sternum clavicle mastoid, this muscle right here. 
All right, moving along. So now again, this is still our superficial side of muscles just under the skin. This is gonna be the deep side. If we take these muscles off and look underneath, this is what we're gonna see. So this big boob muscle basically is gonna be your pectoralis major, your big, huge pec muscle. If you rip that off and look underneath, you have a smaller muscle, this can be the pectoralis minor. So it doesn't look like it does in kitty. Remember in kitty, the pectoralis minor is bigger and it's lower. In humans, the pectoralis is smaller and it's actually under, oh, hey, don't worry about that. I didn't break anything, I promise. The pectoralis minor is actually underneath the pectoralis major, so we're good. So we have our pectoralis major, our pectoralis minor, our sternocleidomastoid muscle here. And then if we look at the side of the guy over here, these little muscles that connect to the ribs are what we call the serratus anterior. And the cat are called serratus ventralis, just because remember cats and people don't have the same ventral anterior side. So serratus anterior is going to be right here. Uh, now we need to move into the abdomen, so I'm just going to hold it so it doesn't fall off again. Remember, this is our superficial side. So the first layer of muscle we see right here is going to be the external oblique. And you can just see that basically this is just a chunk of muscle here. And then you have your little apple neurosi, just connected tissue sheet that goes this way. So this is your external uh, oblique here. If we rip the external oblique off and look underneath it, we're going to see a muscle here. This is going to be your internal oblique right about here. So internal oblique is here. And then the deepest muscle, because this one's on the surface, this is the next one down. The one underneath the internal oblique, which we have to take this off, that goes straight across are going to be the transverse abdominis. And that should make sense. This is a transverse cut. So the fibers are going transverse. So transverse abdominis here. And last but not least, the ones that go straight up and down the center, our six-pack abs, are going to be our rectus abdominis. Rectus abdominis is here. Okay. All right. Good. All right. So uh, what I was going to do on a different model, um, just again, we're going to do the abdomen muscles first. So our six-pack abs, these are going to be our rectus abdominis. Obviously, this side still has the skin on, so you can't see it. So rectus abdominis is here, and then our external obliques are going to be these ones. I know because the fibers run down this way, kind of in a downward angle. So external obliques are here, rectus abdominis is here, and you can't see the internal obliques on this model because you have to take the ex externals off, and you just can't do that. Uh, underneath, though, you can still see the transverse abdominis, these muscles that are going straight across. So transverse abdominis is still present uh, on that one. Also on this model, which I don't know, I think he has a pectoralis major you can put on, but I don't know where it is. You can see the pectoralis minor. So you can see these little guy right here. Remember, the pectoralis major would be sitting on top, but it's not there. So the pectoralis minor is right here, and you can still see the serratus anterior, the serratus anterior muscles right here. So they're still on this guy too. If we kind of hold it up to the actual body, we can still see the sternocleidomastoid, right? So the sternocleidomastoid is going to be here. It's connecting the clavicle, the sternum, all the way up to the mastoid. So this is your sternocleidomastoid right about there. And that's it for the front of the body, because we're, we're missing that whole section in the center, but we can see, because we can see a little bit of trapezius muscle here. We can also see the latissimus dorsi muscles here, and that's really it. Because other than that, these are teres muscles that you don't really need to know, so I'm not going to go there um, with those. All right, so this is the last model we have of the torso. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start in the abdomen. Again, the external obliques, remember the fibers go in a downward direction, kind of towards the belly button or towards the crotch. So this is going to be your external obliques here. If you rip them off and look deep to that, the fibers that now go upwards are going to be the internal obliques here. Again, if you want to see the transverse abdominis, you have to look on the inside. Transverse abdominis is going to be these ones that go straight across. And then last but not least, your erectus abdominis is going to be here, your six-pack abs. At the top, you have the pectoralis major, this big boob muscle for the most part here. If you rip it off and look underneath, you get the pectoralis minor. So pectoralis minor is here. And then below the pectoralis minor, you have the serratus anterior. The serratus anterior muscles are going to be right about there. Oh, that's pretty much it for this. If we hold them back up, though, you can see just a little piece of that sternocleidomastoid. So remember, it's connecting the sternum, the clavicle, to the mastoid, which would be up here in the head. So sternocleidomastoid is going to be right about there. Uh, and everything else you just see is going to be on the back. So we'll see. So in the back, remember this is superficial side, this is deep side again. So we have our trapezius muscle, this big triangle shaped muscle here, trapezius. Uh, the lower one here is going to be your latissimus dorsi, so if it's here, we rip the trapezius off. Again, we have the two muscles here and here. The bigger one is going to be the rhomboidius major, the smaller one is going to be the rhomboidius minor. And then the last one that we can see, the one that goes up and down, running along the spine, is going to be your rectus spinae right here. That's it.